guys welcome back to today's video so I have a huge pile of beauty empties to share with you guys today everything from hair care to I even have a lot of beauty items skincare body care shower stuff and I have been saving this all for a few months now you guys know I like to do my empties every few months and it's just like a fun way to share with you what I've used up because now I have used up the entire product I've fully formed an opinion on it so I think this is a really good way to give you a review and show you what I liked and what I didn't like or if I would repurchase it so if you are new here I hope you will subscribe hit the red button it is free tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos and let's just get on into my empties bin <laughs> skincare product this is the derma e radiance toner if you watched my dupes video from a few I think it was a few months ago I said this was a good dupe for the um, pharmacy one and I actually do have that one from boxycharm this is a good alternative this has glycolic acid and rooibos I hope I'm saying that right it's an alcohol free exfoliating toner to tone tighten and brighten for a soft smooth luminous appearance I love these radiance toners I feel like it's just completely taken away the need for me to use a physical scrub with these and it's kind of a good way to introduce a glycolic acid into your skincare routine if you're scared of using like a lotion or like an overnight thing and also this doesn't like burn your skin or anything like that this is just a great entryway into trying out a glycolic acid so yes I would definitely use this again and I recommend it to you guys this is from julep it's love your bare face replenishing cream to foam cleanser I feel like julep is a brand that really isn't talked about too much at all I don't know why they are kind of like minimal looking I feel like they're very like k-beauty and this was just like a basic cleanser but it was a good cleanser it was good for a double cleanse so after I went in with my cleansing balm or my uh, favorite Dermalogica cleansing oil, I would use this and it does the job. It got off my makeup. It's nothing crazy, but I mean, it's a cleanser. So I liked it, I used it up. It also had some interesting packaging where you could like open it up like this. So yeah, this was pretty good. I would definitely use it again. I don't know if it, I would go out and purchase it again, but I would use it again if I guess if it was like gifted to me. I think I did get this in PR. Some hair items we used up. This replenishing shampoo, this is from Dollar General's new brand called Root to End. I really loved these hair care products and I don't know if you guys have watched my PR unboxings but I mentioned these, they're only $5 which is so crazy and the ingredients are really good. It has something called Strand Reviving Complex and these are cruelty and vegan so there's no SLS, no sulfates, no SLES if you are trying to avoid sulfates, um, no parabens, no fat and no silicones again I'm not trying to say silicone bad per se I don't think they're bad but if you are trying to avoid them then this is a great option I know sometimes when people get their hair chemically straightened they have to avoid silicone so this is a great option and it says it makes your hair feel silky and smooth and it also has a PCA in it which is an ingredient I noticed is in a lot of my like Olaplex dupes so I thought that was cool and it's just a great everyday shampoo that I was I'll admit a little nervous to try this because I was like it's only five dollars is it gonna be any good you guys it is so good if you're looking for an affordable shampoo and conditioner definitely check these out there's a couple different types there's a hydrating one which I'm using right now this is the replenishing one I would absolutely repurchase this and recommend it to you guys. I really love this whole Rue to End line and they did an amazing job on it. And also, just so you guys know, the same people who make Believe Beauty make Rue to End. So you know the quality of the products is really good. Another hair care product I really loved is the Be Gentle, Be Kind Briogeo Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Mask. I really loved this. It smelled so good if you guys are into scented hair care and I do feel like this definitely made my hair feel really smooth and it helped also to kind of ease my tangling situation because my hair can get a little bit tangly it's getting better now that my blonde is growing out when I had a lot of blonde in my hair oh my gosh my hair was so like gummy and really hard to brush out tangles which then made a lot of my hair fall out which was really scary so be careful with the blonde hair this 
is so good i would definitely use this again i would love to use this again i love the briogeo mask i have to have like full-on ringlets to be considered to have a curl pattern which is something i just learned so i technically have curly hair it's just like a lower wave pattern so yeah i loved this and i think this is an amazing mask if you're looking for something to give you a lot of moisture here's a mask i really enjoy this is from pixie this is the glow glycolic boost so if you like their glycolic toner, you will really like this mask. It definitely made my skin so glowy. That's why I really liked using this. So it has glycolic acid for the exfoliation, ginseng, and witch hazel. And it says it has an instant brightening and hydrating effect. I definitely found that. It also had a lot of nice serum in it. And I felt like when I took off the mask, I instantly just felt my skin looked a lot brighter. So I would definitely use this again. Speaking of Briojo mask, considered a shampoo. This is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I used up the whole jar. I loved using this. So I'll tell you guys why. Because I put a lot of oils in my hair before I shower and I have like a whole routine for my washe. So this helped me to get out the oils from my scalp that I would put in my hair and it just kind of made everything fresh. I also have a mask version of this that I'm currently using in my shower, but I would definitely use this again. I also like this to get out any dry shampoo because I go a decent amount of time in between hair washes and I use a shower cap. And it is wash day. I like to have something like this to get out any sort of gunk from uh, dry shampoo or the oil that I put in or hairspray like the other day I had a lot of hairspray in my hair so having something like this is really good because it contains coconut derived cleansers and plant-based exfoliators to remove dead skin and impurities from the scalp and the hair and also helps soothe dry scalp and it has a really nice minty scent to it just feels really fresh when you're using it in the shower it's very therapeutic so I absolutely love this and I definitely think it helped my hair to get rid of any sort of buildup. Another brand that no one ever talks about, this is Epions. This is their gentle foaming cleanser. I really like this brand and this cleanser. It's just a very simple ingredient cleanser. It's for normal skin. Um, and I really enjoyed this and I thought it did a great job. Like the name says, it is very gentle. So again, great for a double cleanse. Nothing crazy, but I really don't need something crazy with my cleanser. The only thing I don't like with cleansers is that they leave that very like squeaky squeaky feeling i don't like that when i feel like i'm going like this on my skin afterwards i don't like that but this one was really nice and i definitely think you guys should check out this brand so this is a product that i'm like kind of on the fence about now so this is the fairs witch hazel rose petal it's alcohol free it was always a staple in my collection but now if you look at the ingredients so this one says natural fragrance but now on the new bottles it says fragrance so i'm like did they change something and add fragrance to this because that would just be a bummer um, because I try not to use toners that have fragrance in them if I can. But I always like this to get off that little bit of extra dirt and makeup after I double cleanse. Because sometimes you will still have makeup like around the perimeter of your face. Especially if I'm wearing a headband to wash my face. I do find up here I will have some leftovers. So I like going in with a toner afterwards. But I have found myself lately using glycolic toners or a salicylic acid toner or my vitamin C brightening toner i'm kind of on the fence if i will repurchase this so we'll see i'll let you guys know if i end up repurchasing this this is like the most bougie high-end moisturizer i have ever owned i actually was gifted this this is from erno laszlo it's the hydrotherapy gel cream and this is a like mattifying cream oh my goodness i used every last drop you guys i loved this cream it is thick but it's still a gel so it was kind of light at the same time it was kind of a unique combo this was amazing if i could afford this i would repurchase it because i loved using it before my foundation it just made my foundation go on so smooth like buttery and it just made my skin feel amazing there's a reason this is so expensive because of the just luxury feeling when you put it on truly an experience i love erno laszlo and that's why whenever you watch budget beauty buys i always say like Try out their products because their products are very, very high-end. And if you can find them at a cheaper price point, then that is amazing. And also, they are a very, like, iconic, classic brand. Speaking of toners, I used up this whole Bioderma. Um, this is Micellar Water. I would absolutely repurchase this. I loved this. I think I also maybe got this in a goodie bag. This is the Sensa Bio H2O. 
I like this because not only could I use it on my face, I could also use it to remove my eye makeup because I usually use a separate eye makeup remover. So to have something that could be a two-in-one was a game changer. So I would totally repurchase this. I know the Garnier one is a dupe for this one, so I would definitely try that one. But Bioderma definitely lives up to the hype. One of my absolute favorite acne products, and I'm so glad I have another one of these, it's this Derma E Acne Blemish Control Treatment Serum. I love this. Ever since I started using this serum, I started to move away from using the benzoyl peroxide because I just feel like it is so harsh and makes your skin peel and then makeup does not look good over that. With this, it has salicylic acid in it, so it's a much more gentle but effective treatment. It may not dry out the pimple, but it helps to relieve it and make it go down. So I'd rather have that than have a super dry spot on my skin. And I do have a bottle of this now, and I think it's amazing if you're looking for a more natural remedy to whiteheads. Literally just finished this up. This went like in a week. The Tree Hut Bear Shave Prep Sugar Scrub. If you watched my Budget Beauty Buys video, I hauled this and the oil for $3, and I loved this. So this is a little bit different from their jar scrubs because it's in this little squeezy tube. And I did actually find I got water in here because I don't think I closed this properly, and it, then it got way too watery. So make sure you close your containers. Unlike me, I do not close anything. So this is to gently exfoliate and lift hair for a close shave. Oil kernel extract, lime, fruit extract, and coconut. It has really good ingredients in here. I would absolutely repurchase this. I loved this, and it was just so nice to exfoliate before I went in with my razor because I feel like it's just like an extra little step that I'm not used to doing, like prepping for the shave. So I think this is awesome. If you guys find one of these, definitely pick it up. You will enjoy it. I don't love the scent it's like a lime that's just not me like I'm like a sweet vanilla girl but it was still good I loved this the body shop chamomile waterproof eye lip and makeup remover on this for three dollars clearance at I think it was TJ Maxx I would absolutely repurchase this it was so nice I have been like looking for a good makeup remover for my eyes it's very hard for me to find one I love I loved this one. It worked so well. It does not make your eyes greasy or oily. It does not irritate your eyes. I am like very particular when it comes to my eye makeup removers and some of them don't even work. Like you still have black left over, but this pretty much got everything off for me. So yes, this is a must have. The setting sprays I used up first is the Wet n Wild Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. This is a great primer spray. I like that you can use it before and then after makeup. Just great overall drugstore setting spray option. And now I have the cocoa one or the chocolate one. And I love that. I've been raving about that one. And a classic Catrice, the Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. I actually think I have like two more of these in my setting spray basket. But I go through these pretty quickly because they are small. This one's amazing. It is definitely an option that's very comparable to MAC. Fix Plus. So I used up this Dollar Tree Bolero Cleansing Jelly Face Balm. I didn't like the scent on this one. It's ginseng, vitamin A, and aloe. However, it worked really well as the first step in my double cleanse. So I definitely recommend it to you guys if you're looking for an affordable one. And the ingredients are really good. There's nothing weird in it. There is fragrance, but there's also ginseng extract. It has retinol and aloe. So a great option for a double cleanse. My favorite body care products I used up is this OGX Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash. This has shea butter, agave, and coconut oil with notes of vanilla and a warm, decadent, frosted treat. Definitely smells like cupcakes. I absolutely loved this body. I will totally be repurchasing this. I loved that there was no artificial colors in here. But anyways, I love this and it was also sulfate free and it smells amazing it smells just like cake which is my favorite a couple masks i tried this <laughs> this one's interesting it was this wrinkle rewind sleep tight face patches these were actually from dollar tree it's a name brand fine these were so weird i wore them to bed and it drove me crazy because you are supposed to wear these to bed and i felt them like i could not wait to take them off and it's supposed to like i don't know i guess help like smooth out any fine lines you might have but literally just feeling them on my face. They're like these little triangles here. There was one here. I just could not wait to take them off because it, they were so annoying to wear at night. Oh, so that was an interesting experience. I don't think I would use those again unless, I mean, maybe I would use them like one more time. But they drove me crazy. This is also another mask I really liked from Dollar Tree, the Glowing Skin Sheet Mask. This is with Egg White. This was another great one. Um, and this was, this is a K-Beauty product. There was a time 
when Dollar Tree had tons of these masks. I think they went pretty fast though because I didn't don't see them anymore. Um, like this particular brand. But this one was great and it definitely hydrated my skin and made me look super glowy. I've been using these, oop, this one is such a mess. These David's toothpaste. They sent me a PR packet. Working my way through using them so I can give you guys a review. It is a clean toothpaste brand and it even has like stevia as the sweetener. Um, it has peppermint oil and these also are fluoride free. Don't come for me in the comments please about fluoride. People get very sensitive about it but I do prefer to use a more natural toothpaste and the jar is interesting because it's this like kind of metal material and it does come with this little metal thing where it pushes the product out. Still, I do think the packaging is like kind of annoying in that sense, but I do really like it. Um, I think it works really well and I would definitely repurchase these. I thought it was a really great natural option for toothpaste. My teeth did feel clean after I used it. And it is also SLS free and it's made in the USA. Dr. Zenovia Vitamin C Brightening Toner is so good. I actually have a new one they sent over, which I was so happy about. I am definitely trying to get rid of any like post acne scarring. I do have some marks on my skin. So vitamin C has been crucial in my morning skincare routine. And this is super refreshing to use after I wash my face in the morning. I use this and then I use a vitamin C serum and it works really well. It says it's an antioxidant rich toner to replenish, hydrate, and condition skin for an even looking tone. Clinical grade vitamin C brightens skin and calms redness. Yeah, it definitely makes my skin feel a lot more even. I do feel like it helps control those post acne scars and helps to fade them quicker. I used up this Pacifica Hawaiian Banana Lip Balm. I love banana scented products. So this was definitely a favorite. I would totally repurchase this. It's not the most moisturizing lip balm ever, but it is vegan and cruelty free. Again, has clean ingredients. So I really, really love this the scent. Oh, it smells so good. It's just like tropical, but the banana scent, it like makes you feel like you literally are in Hawaii on like a banana farm or something. This is such a favorite. Another exfoliating toner, um, Paula's Choice 2% 2 2 BHA liquid. I already have a backup of this and I'm using it in my skincare routine at night currently. This is a salicylic acid toner. I unclog the pores. At first you might experience a little bit of breakthrough pimples with this when you're using it for the first time, but it does keep my skin looking super even and I'm using this because I'm trying to like shrink my pores as best as I can. Um, and it is a light, it does leave like kind of a glassy skin, especially if you put on at night and you wake up in the morning, you will notice your skin has like a bit of dew to it. So I feel like it just keeps me looking fresh. The product I've already replenished, the Dr. Zenovia Aloe Vera Blemish Soothing Moisturizer with Squalane. It's oil free. I love this as an everyday moisturizer. It's very lightweight. It's like a gel consistency. Again, I am a huge fan of these Dr. Zenovia products. They are available at Sephora. Um, and it's just a great line for hormonal acne and they don't give me any sort of irritation on my skin. They don't break me out. It's just a good everyday lightweight moisturizer, especially if you have sensitive acne prone skin. I use up this Urban Decay Perversion waterproof eye pen. I would not repurchase this because there are so many drugstore options right now for an amazing eyeliner pen. I've mentioned them to you guys, the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof. That one is amazing. It's just to spend $24 on an eyeliner pen, I just think is, I just think it's unnecessary at this point. The NYX Epic Ink is out of this world amazing. So it was good, but just there are so many drugstore options you could literally get for $3.99 that work just as well. So I wouldn't waste your money on this, to be honest. I used up the whole Essence Lash Princess, the waterproof version. I did go ahead and repurchase. I got the regular one though. This one's really good if you are looking for waterproof. I just went for the regular one just so I didn't have to struggle to get it off at night. This wasn't too bad, so I definitely think if you're looking for something, say you're going on vacation, pick up the waterproof one, but you could just honestly get the regular green one. But Lash Princess is an OG. It is one of the best mascaras, and they're only $4.99. We are at the point in the video where I've been talking for way too long, and I feel like... <laughs> I'm like getting dizzy because I've been talking forever, but I promise you guys we're almost done Um, I used up these natural light wispy lashes. Of course. I can't show them to you guys, but the Ioni uh, Foaming lashes are hands down my favorite lashes ever like Huda Beauty lashes They look like Lily lashes for literally one dollar 
it is the craziest thing ever like my mind is blown every time I use these because I cannot believe that these are at Dollar Tree like they are so good I promise you guys if you try them you will literally just always want to use them every time I find new styles I like hoard them I even have like six right now on my coffee table that I'm waiting to haul in my next Dollar Tree video so I love this style natural light wispy. I also like to cut them in half and use them as a half lash. And finally, we are ending on an amazing empty, which is actually a makeup product. You guys, I used up two, not one, but two. And it's actually the same lip gloss in two different colors. So I used up two of the Maybelline lifter glosses. This is one of my absolute favorite glosses ever. I am trying to get like the whole collection. I know my friend on Instagram actually has them all because she couponed for them. So I used up Ice, which I love, and I also used up Opal. So these are like the two lightest shades that you can get in the collection. And I absolutely adore these. I actually was using um, this one, which one? Opal down to the last bit. Like there's still a little bit in here, but you really can't get to the very bottom, unfortunately. But the packaging on these, first of all, we'll say is absolutely gorgeous. They look like a KKW Beauty product. They are so pretty. They make your lips just look so juicy and glossy and they have the most amazing scent. It smells like cake with a little bit of coconut and I just wear these around the house like as an everyday kind of lip balm gloss situation. They are so good you guys. Like I just love the formula of these and I also like to put them on top of lipsticks if I want to have a little bit of extra gloss but most of the time I just end up wearing them by themselves or you can put on a lip liner and wear these they don't really give off like you'll kind of see there's a little bit of sparkle but you won't really see too much sparkle on your lips honestly one of the best drugstore glosses these were hyped up and I'm hyping them up now because for good reason they are just amazing like honestly I hope they come out with more colors I think they will because there's probably a top seller for Maybelline so love 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 have i not raved about these enough all right guys so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed seeing all my empties today was a really good one i was so excited to share with you guys what i've used up and all these little mini reviews i will try and link all these products down below for you guys if you are interested in them let me know what products you have used up recently and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye